Welcome to the juiciest adventure you'll ever embark on. It's time to dive headfirst into a world of crisp, refreshing, and downright delicious apple juice. So, grab your taste buds and join us as we explore the orchards, sip on nature's nectar, and discover the secret behind how the ultimate apple juice is made. Well, it all starts with the noble art of apple harvesting. But here's where it gets really intriguing. It's not just any apple that makes the cut. We've got a whole squad of apple varieties on the team, each bringing its unique flavor to the table. In this video, we're going to peel back the curtain on the whole process. We'll show you the nitty gritty details of how apples go from the orchard to your juice box. Toss in a dash of history to sweeten the deal and reveal the inner workings of the juice-making factory where these humble fruits turn into the liquid gold we all love. The art of making apple juice from fresh apples has a rich history that dates back centuries. While the exact origins of apple juice production are not well documented, it is believed to have evolved from the practice of making cider. Cider, a fermented apple beverage, has been enjoyed for thousands of years, and the process of extracting juice from apples likely predates the invention of apple juice as we know it today. The concept of non-fermented apple juice, often referred to as sweet cider or simply apple juice, began to take shape in the 20th century, with advancements in technology and an increasing demand for convenient, shelf-stable beverages. The mass production of apple juice became feasible. In the United States, the 1930s marked a turning point in apple juice production with the introduction of pasteurization, a method of heat treating juice to destroy harmful microorganisms while preserving its flavor and nutritional value. Apple juice's popularity continued to soar over the decades, making it a staple in households worldwide. Today, the apple juice industry is a thriving market producing countless gallons of this delectable beverage for consumers to enjoy. Our apple juice adventure kicks off right in the orchards, where ripe apple trees are our treasure troves. Harvest season, usually late summer to early autumn, is when these apples are at their prime. So is there an art of apple picking? Well, it's a mix of old-school finesse and modern efficiency. In the traditional orchards, skilled hands pluck the ripest apples with care. But in the big leagues, it's mechanical marvels that do the shaking and collecting. But here's the kicker. Whether by hand or machine, the eagle eye is on quality. Damaged or overripe apples get the boot to keep our juice stop notch. Then, the magic begins in factories that blend the best of tradition with cutting edge tech. The apple magic doesn't stop in the orchards. It's just the beginning of our journey to that sweet, refreshing juice we all adore. First stop, the cleaning and sorting station. Here, our apples get a spot treatment, scrubbing off dirt, debris, and saying goodbye to any less than perfect fruit. As for quality and safety, we nailed it. Next up, the juice extraction phase. Cleaned and sorted, the apples are ready to party. They're ground into a pulp and then squeezed for every last drop of juice. Think hydraulic presses for the industrial champs. But wait, there's more. Pasteurization our juice's safety guardian. It's like a spa for the juice, heating it to kick out bad bacteria and enzymes. Then, a quick chill keeps the flavor intact. Now, when it comes to your apple juice, you've got options, folks. It's all about the filtration phase, where the juice gets its personality. Some factories go for that pristine, crystal clear look by filtering out every bit of pulp, leaving you with a sleek and velvety liquid. But wait, there's more. Sometimes, to make apple juice travel friendlier, they opt for concentration. This involves squeezing out some of the liquid to reduce volume, making it easier to ship. Now, packaging is where the juice gets dressed for the party. You'll find it in classic bottles, cartons, cans, all your favorites. It's all about keeping up with your busy lifestyle. But don't think the quality gets lost in the process. We've got quality control in action at every turn. This means rigorous checks to make sure your apple juice meets the gold standard for taste, safety, and long-lasting goodness. Uh, the age-old apple juice debate clear or cloudy, that's the question. It all boils down to how they play with clarity and cloudiness. Some like it pure and polished, 
running through filters to bid farewell to solids. Others prefer that natural look, letting things be as they are. And here's the sweet truth, no added sugar. Many of these juices are labeled 100% pure, which means they don't toss in any extra sugar or sweeteners. The sweetness, all natural, straight from those lovely apples. But that's not all. Some juice producers are stepping up, wearing their green hearts on their sleeves. They're all about environmental concerns, using eco-friendly packaging and sustainable farming practices to give Mother Earth a little love. The Apple Juice Story and Wine with Cider's Evolution showcases an ever-adapting industry. Inside the factory, precision and cutting-edge tech join forces to craft the juice we cherish. Cleaning, pasteurization, filtration, and packaging, it's all about safety and flavor. The final product, be it clear or cloudy, sweet or tart, brings nature's bounty to every sip. So, next time you savor that apple juice, remember its journey. It's more than a glass. It's a fusion of agriculture, tech, and tradition, celebrating our love for nature's simple pleasures. So, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join us on our quest to uncover how stuff is made. It's a world of discovery waiting for you. Thanks for sipping along with us today. Until next time, stay curious and stay tuned for more Made Like This magic. And that, my juice-loving friends, is the juicy journey of how apple juice is crafted. From orchard to glass, 